rumors of the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission serving Lido, the largest Ethereum staking service, with a Wells notice sparked panic in the crypto community. This caused LDO token prices to drop 10%. Although David Hoffman of the Bankless Crypto Podcast retracted his initial statement, the market still responded to the rumors. This comes amidst the SEC's broader crackdown on the crypto industry. It follows crack and shutting of its staking service after a settlement with the SEC. This article provides an overview of the panic and speculation that surrounded the rumor that the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission had served the largest Ethereum staking service, Lido, with a Wells notice. David Hoffman of the Bankless Crypto Podcast initially claimed that Lido and other crypto projects had been served with Wells notices, an assertion he later retracted. Despite Hoffman's retraction, the market still appeared to respond to his remarks and the price of Lido's LDO token has fallen 10% in the past 24 hours. The article goes on to discuss the broader crypto industry crackdown by U.S. securities regulators and the potential implications of the situation for crypto staking services. The Lightning Network is a Layer 2 alternative to Bitcoin that is showing tremendous development and future potential. Its capacity, measured by the Bitcoin Lightning Network capacity chart, has been steadily increasing and reached 5,200 as of this writing. The net position change has also been positive since December 2022. Additionally, the Bitcoin Lightning Network mean channel capacity has been increasing, though at a slower rate. A key development was the cooperation between the Lightning Network infrastructure platform LightSpark and international private bank Zappo Bank. This allowed Zappo to integrate Lightning on its platform. This article provides a comprehensive overview of the progress of Bitcoin's Lightning Network and its potential for the future. The article cites several measures of progress, such as the Lightning Network capacity, net position change, and mean channel capacity. It also points to the increasing trend in the amount of Bitcoin locked into payment channels, which indicates the potential for increased transaction settlement. Additionally, the article references a recent partnership between Zappo Bank and LightSpark which will allow for further integration of the Lightning Network. Overall, the article paints a promising picture of the Lightning Network's trajectory and its increasing viability as a payment option. The NFT market experienced a substantial increase in trading volume in February 2021, with sales totaling $2 billion. Of that, Ethereum-based NFTs accounted for $1.6 billion and Polygon-based NFTs accounted for $109 million. The growth was mainly driven by Blur, a popular NFT project, and was accompanied by an increase in the number of active traders on OpenSea. Despite the increased activity and growth, the number of new addresses was 40% lower than the same time last year. This article presents a comprehensive overview of the growth of the non-fungible token, NFT, market, with an emphasis on the increased trading volume of Blur, Blur, and Polygon, Matic, projects. It is clear that the explosive growth of the NFT market has seen a substantial increase in trading volume in February and that Ethereum, ETH, maintained its position as the dominant player in the market. Additionally, the article highlights the impressive growth of the Polygon minted NFTs on OpenSea and the drop in the count of active monthly traders for Ethereum-based NFTs on OpenSea. Finally, the article presents an analysis from Glassnode that highlights the surge in demand for block space, which has resulted in increased fees for validators and more ETH being burnt via EAP1559. However, the report also noted that the number of new addresses is 40% lower than this time last year and the monthly average remains below the yearly, signaling negative momentum. This article is an effective examination of the NFT market and provides an insightful look at its current state.